Hey, welcome Lakers Angels fan radio. We definitely have a bias here. Lakers are uh, interesting right now because obviously we're not healthy. However, Drummond just came back. Um, Lakers just lost to the Heat, who are super good, by the way. Uh, but yeah, the Lakers just aren't healthy. Um, and no Kuzma tonight either. So our scoring has really not been there. However... We're still fifth place in the Western Conference. Um, you know, it depends on when AD and LeBron come back. Um, you know, we could probably make up some ground, but there's not many games left overall, right? So, no matter where the Lakers land in the playoffs, you know, I wouldn't want to face the Lakers. <laughs> nah, that's ridiculous. Um, you know, a fully healthy Laker team. It, it doesn't matter. I I still think we're going to repeat pretty easily. I'm really not that afraid of Brooklyn. Um, however, we do need to be healthy, so if they can uh, come back soon, that'd be great. Um, but overall, you know, the Western Conference is crazy. I mean, let's look. Utah's been up here for a while. Phoenix, I've been saying they're the second best team in the West the whole year. Clippers are there somehow still. Uh, Nuggets are creeping up on them. Then there's the Lakers. And Blazers are down here. Mavericks and Grizzlies. So the, it's still going to be like a wild uh, fight for these last few spots probably. Um, I just hope that we're not part of that. I hope that we're, you know, at least six or five. Because to battle it out down here, it can get crazy. Um... Yeah, Brooklyn's looking good in the East, but I still think Philly's a better overall team. Um, although, Blake Griffin's looking pretty good over there. However, let's just say the Lakers meet the Nets in the finals. You know? I, I, I still don't even see them beating us. I mean, their offensive power is ridiculous. Um, but we have LeBron James and Anthony Davis which worked pretty well last year. And you throw in a Drummond. Um, I don't know. I just think we're still a better team, even though we probably don't have as many stars. Um, but they are they built that whole team just to defeat us. So uh, let's see how that goes. But let, let's look at some stats, because with AD and LeBron out, uh yeah, we need people to step up, especially with Kuzma being out later tonight. Uh, uh, KCP was going off. Um, but yeah, obviously we're nothing without our big three. Uh, Caruso has been doing great. He, I've been a fan of him his whole career. Alfonso McKinney, yeah, he's getting time. That's how, that's how where we're at right now. Andre Drummond finally came back. And he's not looking too bad. He's still trying to fit in, you know. Um, and he'll find us in our groove, and once AD and LeBron come back, it'll be easy. <laughs> uh, Davis is doing great when healthy. Ben Malcolmore didn't look too bad. Um, he's not a bad player. He's, I think he can fit well, and I think with LeBron, he'll be able to get opportunities. You know, he's actually a good three-point shooter. Uh, Damian Jones is like isn't even playing. Schroeder has been our most consistent player. He's been our best player overall. I mean, seriously, AD and LeBron have been out for too long. Schroeder's been our best player basically the whole year. Um, and thank God because we need somebody to do something. Kaycock is looking good. I've always been a fan of him. We should have brought him up years ago. Dudley's still hurt. KCP is basically stepping up in Kuzma's absence, and I think he did great. Um, just wasn't enough. Costas isn't doing anything. Kyle's got to be more consistent, but he's getting boards. You know, I just don't like how he goes off scoring, and the next game he scores four points. Like, dude, come on. Like, you should know by now. LeBron, obviously, is LeBron. Marcus All. He's been interesting because he's been starting, and he's been coming off the bench, and then he's been playing very little minutes, and then he's starting again. Yeah, that's a lot to ask for someone to do. So, Gasol's been great, in my opinion. Markeith hasn't done anything all year. 
just like last year. Harold's been great. You know, you give him 20 minutes, he'll give you a double-double somehow. <laughs> uh, THT's been great. He's looked better this year. And he's looked great last year, but this year, the game is slowing down. He's been getting to the basket a little more easier, at least from what I've seen. Uh, yeah, and we didn't trade him, so thankfully we didn't. Let's keep him for the future. Um, because he's super talented. Wesley Matthews has been low-key disappointing, but he actually had a pretty good game. So yeah, our team isn't too bad without all the big three, but we're not going to go that far without him either. Because it's been, like, weeks now. Um, with AD and LeBron, like... Yeah, I don't know what to say, because... We're fifth place right now, like we talked about. Um, but that's not going to last for a while. I, I really don't want to slip past six. <laughs> We're kind of getting there. So a little nerve-wracking, but uh, overall I still think we'll be fine. Um, you know, the Lakers know the situation. Uh, that's why they got Drummond. And Le it's not like LeBron hasn't been through something like this before. He He'll be fine. As long as LeBron's healthy for the playoffs. Like, I don't think any Laker fan should be worried. It's just if we slip to six plus, you know, I just don't want to feel that pressure. Um, he's looking at the league leaders. Uh, LeBron and AD basically carrying. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you know, we definitely need him back. We can only go for so long without him. I'm just glad Drummond's back. I mean, at least we have that, right? And he's not looking too bad, and he's going to get better. Like, you can bet on that. Drummond is going to get better with the Lakers, um, especially with LeBron playing, because he just makes everyone better, right? So, uh, nothing to worry about. The only thing to worry about is if we slip past the sixth spot, like I said. Um, but nothing's changed for me. You know, we're still the favorite to repeat. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't really see... A threat other than maybe Brooklyn and you know Utah and Denver but that's about it Philly's looking good um, Phoenix obviously well so maybe Brooklyn won't even make the finals you know but if they did and we met them I, I'd still feel confident just because LeBron and AD are too dominant even if they go off you know I'd still place my bet on LeBron and AD <laughs> I think history will favor me in that. Um, so I don't know who we play next. Let's actually see. Um, if you're watching off YouTube right now, let me just check right here. Because uh, I know we, s we don't have two. Oh, we do play the Nuts. How funny. Okay, so that's Saturday, 5.30. So that should be a good game. I hope Kuzma plays because, holy crap, we need somebody to score the basket. Um, yeah. So that's funny that we play the Nets. Uh, should be fun, honestly. Even if, you know, we lose, like, it'd be interesting to see how we play against them without LeBron and AD. Um, because obviously with them, it'd be a different story. But, yeah, it'd be interesting about ABC. I'll be sure to watch that. Um, but other than that, you know, we're looking good. We just got to keep steadying the course. Be at least 500, right? Um, cause we've got drumming back, so we should win more. So, that's about it, I guess. Um, we'll see the next game. I'll have a report on that. Um, I don't expect us to win, maybe, to be honest, because assuming LeBron and AD won't play, right? Uh, but it should still be fun and interesting. See how we match up, I mean, matchup-wise. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, appreciate it if you're listening to me or watching off YouTube. I uh, appreciate the support. Catch me on Spotify and Anchor and YouTube. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, l let's do it. Let's repeat. We have everything we need to do it, except for health, but that'll come over time. Thanks for watching, guys. Till next time, peace.